Ladies and gentlemen, that is the top of our stairs. Oh, should I say the top of the landing? This is the stairs. And we can see outside, and no, I've not installed a bird box. That is shuttering for a cast in place pad stone. Let's go and take a look. So you'll hear in the background some aggregates and cement being whirred around in the cement mixer because we are indeed uh, mixing some C25 cement to cast in place a pad stone. Um, approximately, oh look at that, phone's ringing at exactly the wrong moment, hang on a sec. False alarm. So I've got the dimensions written on the wall here somewhere unless I've taken the actual bricks out but the pad stone has to be 440 deep which is well over that, 250 wide which means that carries on both the internal and the external brickwork and it needs to be cast 225mm deep. We're going to go a little bit more than that today because we want really to be halfway up here. doesn't matter if it's bigger, uh, just as long as it's not smaller. Then there's going to also be a preformed pad stone going up there. And for reinforcing, we've got some rebar wired together. That's going to go into the mixture um, halfway through the filling of, uh, of our little shuttering box. So let's go and have a look at the noisy mixer. Um, C25 mix is uh, about 1.5 parts sand, three parts ballast, and one part cement, but I've gone a little bit heavier on the cement today. Nice So I'm standing on a rickety set of trestles and we've just put the first bucket in and as you can see that's gone in there quite nicely and it's gone into all the corners, I've pushed all the air out so the plan is now bring it up to about halfway, figure out exactly where I want to be then we'll drop the reinforcing bars in and then we'll continue to the exact level that I want making sure we've got enough room to get our steel under here and then we need 225 mil to the bed of this uh, sorry 205 mil so I'm going to give it a 10 mil play maybe a bit more so we can get the steel in and then pack it up as needed without trying to force it into a tight slot right rebar going in just position that in the right place make sure it's submerged beautiful and let's get some cement on top of that I've got some concrete left over and that looks lovely from where I'm standing a few little bubbles come out of the top I've just vibrated it with the vibrating um, thing on the uh, impact driver just putting screws randomly in and out to make the vibrations push the bubbles out of the cement you can see a few on the top slowly popping away might give it another blast but i think it looks fantastic so far well the light's failing me now we've got one pad stone concrete common pad stone built in place I daren't take the shuttering off this casting tonight, just in case it fails. So that's going to stay up there overnight. I'm going to have to foam the holes, because obviously we can see into the building. So I'll probably do that from the inside. And then I've got to tidy away. I was hoping to get some steel in that drill today, but didn't get around to it after all. So we'll do that tomorrow whilst we're waiting for the inspector to come. So we've just had an inspection from the council, the building inspector's been round. Here's a look at the cast in place concrete pad, which has just been uncovered today. Um, he didn't put a tape measure on anything. He's inspected the lintels, he's inspected the pad stones, and uh, the steels, the lintel, the steel lintels. Everything's all been signed off. So we're gonna continue doing what we're going to do. It's a real bizarre inspection. He, he was here for 30 seconds, if that. He said, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I think he might be looking for another job or something. He didn't seem bothered. 
But anyway, this is the steel that we've got going in above that pad stone that we've built. So I've cut everything to the engineer's spec. We've got scaffolding pole spaces in place. As you can see, that won't move now because I've tightened it up. And looking at it, it looks like a really substantial bit of metal work. So we just have to get that in position. I'm gonna give that probably a week to go off before we put it up there because I want that to be absolutely solid. I've cast a pad stone up there. That's the one that this is gonna sit on. So that's level across to there. He's happy with that. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna leave this as is for the next few days because I can stand on it. Oh, mind you, I need the trestles. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this down then. We'll get it in position in front of the door, move that acro, get the steel ready to go in, and then when we get round to opening the wall up in a few days' time, uh, this will be in position down here. So I do have to take it apart again and get it down on the floor. So I'll do that next. And then is it worth me getting a mix on? Because now I can start building above the lintels. It is midday though, so it's probably a little bit late in the day. But that's definitely something we can start doing. All right, well, shit's just got real, folks. We have the genie lift back on site. We have three props in position. And I've just made a continuous cut all the way through the front of the building. And everything is supported outside, at least, on these three strong boys. And we've got the steel down there ready to go in. Pad stones have gone off my um, cast in place concrete lintel uh, pad stone sorry this has gone off also signed it as well as you must that one's gone off so i'm ready to start removing some bricks this is absolutely terrifying but exciting at the same time <laughs> 